I've been on Scratch for over 3 years now, and over this time, I've learned many valuable lessons. So today, i picked 5 of the most important things I wish I had known when I started to include in this video. Number 1. Scratch is a community, not just a programming language. It can be easy to treat Scratch just as a block-based programming language. But the truth is that Scratch is way more than that, it's a whole community. And it's a diverse one too. From chess programming to funny animations, there's a place for everyone. And to be honest, 90% of the reason that I'm still active on Scratch is because of the community. For example, one of the communities that I've been part of for quite a while now is the chess programming forum. And even though Scratch is probably one of the worst programming languages to code a chess engine performance-wise from, it's a really fun challenge, and we've made lots of progress there. Number 2. Not every product needs to be great. Sometimes it's tempting to make every project you create be a really high effort project that takes a long time to make. But what I've realized is that it can be really helpful to take a break from perfect projects and just have fun and experiment with new stuff once in a while. For example, in between my bigger projects, I've done lots of little ones and posted them on my test accounts. A recent case of this is Boxdash, which was a cool little platformer I made for a YouTube video, and I got to try out lots of cool stuff that probably never fit into a large project. Number 3. How to get good at scratch coding Getting good at anything requires lots of time and effort, but there are often ways to learn stuff faster and more efficiently. For example, when I started out on scratch, I would just code on my own for long periods of time, and get pretty much nowhere. However, once I started following tutorials, the process of learning went by a lot quicker. And it's not just tutorials that can help, game dev videos are super nice for this too. There are lots of scratch youtubers, and they often post a lot of game dev videos, where they showcase how they made their projects. It can be very helpful to watch other pros do stuff. And even though I've been on Scratch for over 3 years now, I'm still learning new stuff about it every single day. Number 4. Follower accounts are not that important. At the start of my Scratch journey, I cared a lot about views, hearts, stars, remixes, but above all of those stats, I cared most about the follower account. But having an increasing follower account as the priority also caused some problems, as I would spend lots of time just trying to get more followers, instead of actually coding and learning. So over the years, I've learned to care less on how many followers I have, and instead spend more time coding and making very cool projects. Number 5. Knowing how to polish a project. Polishing a project is pretty much adding stuff to make it feel complete and professional, and it's a super important skill to have. Polishing your projects can have a huge impact on how your project looks, and it often doesn't even have to take that long to do. But with that being said though, it's by no means easy to polish a project, and it's a skill that can take a lot of time to develop. And it's not just game polish that's important, but also knowing how to make your games fun is essential too. If you're interested in learning more about the subject, you're in luck because I made an entire video about this. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.